This is Neil San Dynasty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Be kind, helpful, and grateful. Buy yourself some silver and some platinum. But that's not what this is about. This is about more evidentiary proof that I've already told you guys about of where platinum and gold come from originally in the stars. And uh, here's just a little quickie on... Uh, Someone else saying the exact same thing that I've been saying, but they've got like eight years of college, so you can believe them, even though I've been saying it for a long time. But anyhow, here it is. Billy Savlovich studies exploded stars, which were the furnaces that forged the first heavy elements from a cosmos of simple helium and hydrogen. Every time there's a supernova explosion, it's producing the raw materials for life. The iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, the oxygen that we breathe, love that oxygen. All that is being manufactured in supernova explosions. The late astronomer Carl Sagan used to say, we're all made of star stuff. That's exactly right. Webb reveals unprecedented detail at the center of these explosions. And that's what Webb is most sensitive to for our purposes, understanding what's happening inside the explosion that we couldn't see before because it only comes out in infrared light. Infrared light is what Webb is designed to see. Like a night vision camera, the telescope is sensitive to heat radiation, which is all that remains of the light reaching us from the dawn of time. Anyhow... Supernova explosions are where platinum also comes from. So, since we know Betelgeuse is fixing to explode into a supernova in the next 10 or 20 years, cool. But anyhow, this is just uh, more evidence that we are stardust and so is platinum. And uh, platinum comes from supernovas exploding or two supernovas colliding or whatever. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this report proving that platinum comes from the stars and there's more platinum out there than there is on earth. I've got a guy climbing up on me. Oh no, I'm being attacked.